Hello everyone. Thank you all for watching my videos, liking, subscribing and sharing. This is the second part of my previous video, I leave the link in the description down below, although if you want, it can also be read as an individual story. Thank you very much for the support I have received, this second part is inspired by an idea one of you wrote me in the comments. I hope you enjoy it a lot. By the way, watch the video to the end, there is an extra scene as a gift I have for you after the final comments. I'll get you out in a few hours, you'll thank me later. The paper was balled up in one of his jacket pockets. Sakusa contemplates in disbelief what his stupid cousin just did to him. I'm sure it was Korai's idea. Atsumu grumbles. He's lying on one of the mats that are in the gym's storage room. And Tobio and Chigea sure supported because the fuckers didn't have the personality to refuse. He continues to complain. But Sakusa is so pissed off that he hardly pays attention to him. He has decided to stay pissed at his cousin so that other emotions don't take over. Whenever discomfort, nervousness, and disgust at the dirt and germs wants to take over, Sakusa rereads the message on the paper and imagines the ways he plans to get even. It's almost like a therapy. It's hot as hell, but at least they had the decency to leave us some snacks, do you want some? They were next to the balls we used in training so I don't think you want some. Sakusa doesn't answer, he just looks at Atsumu with a disgusted face while the guy sits down and starts eating like a savage. Moments like this works for him to wonder how he could possibly like a guy like him. Atsumu's not only the opposite of him on a basic fundamental level, but he's also a pig. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Atsumu asks him, overcome by the pressure of Sakusa's stare. He has crumbs around his mouth. You look like a fox eating carrion. He replies with a shrug. To his surprise Atsumu lets out a laugh. You wouldn't be the first one to tell me that Omikun. Are you going to want some of this or not? He offers him again. He's tempted to refuse, but they've been locked in after practice and Sakusa had skipped breakfast, so his stomach forces him to give in against his will. Pass me one of the bags then. Dot dot dot. His parents don't know it, but Sakusa always knew when they argued. They tried to hate each other secretly, slyly, arguing only when he was at school or when they thought he was asleep. In front of him, they were the perfect couple, but Sakusa was able to see the lie through the tension in the clenched jaws. Why would two people decide to be together if they were so mismatched? Sakusa certainly couldn't understand it then, but now, as he contemplates Atsumu out of the corner of his eye, he's starting to get an idea. In the end what happened with your brother and the girl? Atsumu stops eating. Why? Do you care? Sakusa frowns. No. He answers out of reflex. Then why do you ask? Atsumu replies with satisfaction written all over his face. Sakusa exhales, he has run out of snacks and is about to lose his patience. Forget it, this is a waste of time. He stands up and starts walking in circles. This is ridiculous, this is ridiculous, this is ridiculous. He starts to think erratically. Just because his cousin locked him and Atsumu in the storage, doesn't mean he has to do whatever Kamori wants. He's going to calm down and wait until the bastard open the door for them and then throw a ball in his face. Either way, does he like Satsumu that much? What's between them can hardly be called a friendship and Atsumu has made it clear that he likes girls. This is ridiculous. Calm down, I'm just kidding and just so you know, my brother and her are still dating. Atsumu begins. After the defeat against Karasuno, I remembered what's really important to me, Samu on the other hand, he has other priorities. There is restrained anger in his voice, his fierce gaze stuck on Sakusa's eyes. Just like that, his questions are resolved in a single heartbeat. He calms down and sits where he was sitting before. There is no other way to explain it. Is that so? He likes the fucking bastard a lot. Dot dot dot. As promised, Kamori arrives a few hours later, he is alone and smiling, though there is a nervous tremor in his smile. Other than an aggressive look towards Kamori, Sakusa says nothing to him as he leaves. He decides he is too dirty at the moment to allow himself to bump his cousin with his shoulder as he passes him by. He does it as hard as he can to knock him off balance. As he heads to the showers, he listens to Atsumu complaining out loud, asking Kamori why he locked them in. What the hell dude? I thought better of you. After that they keep talking about something, but Sakusa is unable to hear them and leave. 
Maybe is just Gamori trying to come up with an invented excuse. Dot dot dot. My grandmother wants me to go to college, she's been pressuring me to accept the invitations I've been getting since last year. Says Atsumu standing behind Sakusa and putting on his pants. They are both in the locker room, dressing and chatting. They took a shower to get clean up before going to the dorms, first Sakusa and then Atsumu. My parents want me to go to college too, I probably will. Replies Sakusa while putting on a jersey. He feels itchy in the elbow of his right arm. A mosquito bit him in the warehouse. Atsumu snorts. Really? We're in our third year, it's our last chance to win nationals, it's no time to focus on something else. That is true and Sakusa takes it very seriously. The idea of studying is for now, just that, an idea. Not like that will make a difference in your case, cause I'll beat you anyway. Sakusa smirks and throws a knee pad at him. All in all, it wasn't a bad afternoon. Outside of the fact that they were locked in, the light chatter hasn't been that bad. They finish putting on their shoes, gather their things from the lockers and leave the gym. The sky has turned orange. The cafeteria must be closed by now, should we go somewhere nearby to eat? Atsumu asks as they walk towards the dorms. Sakusa thinks about it. You don't have to say yes, I think it's not allowed to sneak out for a while, but I don't care, I'm hungry and I refuse to eat leftovers. Sakusa agrees at that. Kamori owes me a favor, I'll tell him to cover for us while we get something to eat. They walk side by side and chat about trivia along the way. Rather, Atsumu talks all he wants and Sakusa just listens. But there's something about it that Sakusa is fine with, maybe he'll have to thank his cousin after all. Dot dot dot. So I told Samu that he is a bastard, but hey, speaking of another topic, quick question, when are you going to tell me you're in love with me? Sakusa almost choked on his burger. What? They're sitting at a table in the corner of a restaurant they found only a five minutes walk from the gym and dorms. The day you lost to Inubishi, you and your cousin were talking about it in the locker room. Sakusa is stunned, unable to believe what he's hearing. You guys thought no one was there because all your team had already left, but I went there to tease you and heard everything. Sakusa remembers, Kamori had been unbearable that day. That was a year ago Atsumu. He then says, frowning. Does that mean you don't like me anymore or what? Sakusa shakes his head, disgruntled. Why bring this up now, if you've known about it for a whole year? Atsumu bites into his burger, takes his time chewing it and then slurps loudly on his juice. I don't know, I guess I didn't know how I felt about it. That sounds fair enough somehow, but still, that doesn't answer his question. Does that mean you do know now? Are you trying to make fun of me or something? Sakusa replies, wary. Suddenly he's not hungry anymore. If this idiot thinks he can use his feelings to mock him, he doesn't know what he's in for. Well I wasn't planning on doing anything, but then your cousin locked us up and I thought you'd seize the moment and say something about it. You're insane. He retorts, for some reason more and more pissed off. I think part of me was hoping you'd say something. I'm leaving. Sakusa tries to stand up, but Atsumu stops him. Look. I don't believe in this nonsense about destiny and soulmates, what I do believe is that you're a too blunt jerk and you like volleyball more than people, and I'm the same. I don't think there are two people who can understand each other better. You think that's a good reason to date? You're crazy. Atsumu shrugs. We can work on it, besides, outside of your insufferable personality, hanging out with you is nice, we can try, if you want to of course. Are you aware of what you're saying? Atsumu looks so serious and confident it's disconcerting. I'm not that much of a jerk, I wouldn't joke about something like that. He finishes, grabbing a fry from Sakusa's plate. Dot dot dot. We are not going to hold hands. Sakusa clarifies while they are walking on their way back. He received a text message from his cousin saying that they should be right back. Atsumu raises his hands in acceptance. No hands, it's fine by me, your hands must be as rough as sandpaper and I don't want you to crack mine, I've been moisturizing them for a while so that they don't turn harsh with the change of season. Sakusa has to stifle a laugh. How can you say something so silly, just like that? Atsumu smiles slyly. I don't know Mr. Lysol, you tell me. They reach the point where they each have to go their own way to their respective rooms. The moment suddenly becomes awkward. 
If we're going out, the normal thing would be to kiss each other goodbye, wouldn't it? Atsumu says, matter-of-factly. In your dreams, just go away already. Sakusa retorts, rolling his eyes. Atsumu shakes his head. Close your eyes. Go to hell. Come on, just close them. It's not the first time you've kissed someone, is it? Besides, I'm not going to stick my tongue in you or anything. Just a rub, so come on, close your eyes. Sakusa snorts, but finally agrees. It's not the first time he kissed someone, but he doesn't know if he's nervous or disgusted. Atsumu takes him by the shoulders. If it makes you feel any better, I showered after you so technically I'm cleaner than you. Sakusa opens his eyes. What a way to kill the moment. That's what he says, but now he's the one moving closer. The kiss it's a gentle pressure. Sakusa is too uncomfortable to enjoy it. See, that wasn't so hard was it? Atsumu says when they pull apart. Don't worry if it was horrible, we'll have time to do better, you'll see. I really hope you enjoyed the story a lot. Write me in the comments what you think, that inspire me to keep going. I really appreciate it, that helps me to improve. Also you can write me about topics that you would like me to write about. Please subscribe, share it and like it, see you soon. Dot dot dot. If you don't tell him now, you won't be able to in a long time. After today you will each go back to your respective lives until you are nationals again. When Atsumu heard those words, he froze in his tracks. He was standing by the door leading to the locker room. Sakusa and Komori were inside. Leave me alone. Sakusa had retorted. Atsumu knew it was wrong to listen to other people's conversations, but with all the wrongdoing he had done, one more or one less didn't make a difference. Cousin how can someone as smart as you behave like an idiot? If you like Atsumu, you should tell him and not be left wondering what could have been. Wait, what? What the hell dude? I thought better of you. Atsumu exclaims loud enough for Sakusa to hear. Hey Mia, what happened is that? Shush. Atsumu shushes him quickly. Don't say anything, let the bastard get confident and leave. Komori gazes at him blankly. What do you mean? I know this looks wrong but... Komori starts making nonsensical excuses. Things that Atsumu pays no attention to, because he knows their lies, and just as Sakusa has left, he stops him. Look, I know why you locked us in. At first I thought it was Korai and the others as some kind of joke, but when I saw you open the door it all came together. Komori turns white. If Atsumu were a doctor, he'd say his blood pressure dropped. Don't panic, I like that idiot too, you know him, what do you think I should say to get him to go out with me?